Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, where each week we'll be playing as one of the seven characters. Uh, unless we fail and then, you know, I have to play to Sheol instead. But, anyways, uh, without further ado, uh, I may as well go to picking character. Now, I should have asked last week if anyone wants to see a specific character, you know, um, like do a vote in the comments. So, like, right now, um, for next week, not this week obviously, because that... <laughs> be a bit dumb because I'm going to be playing it right now, but for next week, uh, please leave in the comments the character that you'd like to see played. I mean, obviously, if it's been already played, then, you know, um, I'm not going to be doing it because if I, unless I lost, in which case I'd be going to Sheol, but, you know. So, um, yeah. Let me know if you'd want to see a specific character sooner rather than later, you know. Because, I mean, I'll be doing them all anyways, but, you know, I... I I don't have any particular item in mind, so if you want to see one, then there you go. So I'm going to random see what we get. We got Isaac. We already did an Isaac game. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, right. Random. Samson. Fair enough. Got a mouse off the screen now. There you go. So, Samson, what do you do? Well, you start out with a little bit of less HP, as you can see, but you get a, you get a spirit heart, and uh, you get a, an item called... I think... Uh, bridge or something? Either way, when you kill enemies, you get more damage. Really good for boss fights, not really good for the most part. Um, like, for losing 2 HP, I wouldn't consider it that good, but I mean, you know, it could be way worse. Um, so we found our boss room already. We don't really need to worry about the whole reroll thing, like on Isaac, where it's like, oh no, we don't have a reroll? Well, um, oh, what do we do now? Like, do, we, do, we, do we go to this room and then not that room because we don't have the thing, or, you know. We don't have to worry about that, that's sorted out, we're fine with that. So we got a uh, Gemini. He's kind of easy. You sort of back away. Duke of Flies and the Widow are a lot better for Samson because, of course, like I said, uh, Rage. So the more enemies you kill, they spawn enemies, so you just basically wipe them out really fast. Whereas, you know, Gemini is two enemies and you don't really build much Rage. Also, you start turning red when you get more Rage, so you kind of start looking like a tomato. Essentially, they start looking like all the people who are outside getting, like, sunburn and shit, because it's so fucking warm. Like last week, it's just sunny and warm and evil. <laughs> it's been, like, a couple of days where it's rained, and, like, even still, it's warm as hell. I mean, my room's pretty terrible, and with the computer heating it up, and then me being just generally warm as well. I mean, you know, every person's warm, but, you know, some people are warmer than others, and I'm one of those people who are warm. And so, uh, you know... But, uh, finishing off Gemini now, almost got through it without taking damage, that would have been very nice, considering, you know, the low HP, but, eh, mistakes were made, and sometimes Gemini can bounce in some weird ways and stuff. Like, why, why would that bounce off like that? But, uh, you know, it's, it's whatever. Get the crit, crit's alright, bit of a speed down, mm, could be worse. Uh, we have a pill, I don't know if we should take it, I'll take it. Bad trip, that's the one thing I was hoping it wasn't, but there you go. Uh, we've got a good trinket. Oh, we've got a joker card, too. That's good, because that'll take us to a deal with the devil, but right now we're not in the situation to want to go to a deal with the devil because of our HP. Um, also, we have Cast of Darkness. I did not realize that we have Cast of Darkness, so, you know. I don't know where any of the rooms go, which ways, what ways, and such, so... We just gotta sort of base it off of which way, which way feels right, I guess. So just kill these flies. The little flies are stupid and don't do anything. It's gotta, it's gotta worry more about these ones. These red. Stupid ones that shoot two. Ah, another trinket. I would say Ace of Spades is a bit better, but that's only because of the random cards that you can get from it. Ah. Uh. How do I want to deal with this? This one first. Because this leaves us a straight to shoot down. Then the bottom one. Because that's... No, wait, not the bottom one. The top one. Uh, on the left. Because then they'll funnel out the same way. And then we'll have enough rage to do more damage. And that means we'll uh, kill the enemies faster when they come out of here. Which is a lot shorter of a, dis uh, of a distance. Which, uh... Oh, fuck me. Really? I'm... I, why did I say damage from that? I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, this room... Even though, you know, it's not like the easiest room ever. It's it's not exactly a hard one either. I can't remember what this is, my brain always forgets. Road Rage, okay, there we go. So now we look very... 
very angry. <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. But, um, ah oh well. It's, it's an alright upgrade, it makes up for the uh, speed deficit of the crate, because the crate makes you a bit slower, so... It's not too much of a big deal. And uh, we'll go on to our next floor. Pretty much the same as how we started, with a few extra consumables. It's no big deal. I mean, could be better, could be worse. Um, but yeah. So, basement two, not cave, um, not caves, um, not cellar, so it's the easier variant. Could be, uh, could be good, could be bad, depends how we play it out, depends what we get to, of course, um, as it is like 50% luck, 50% skill, so, all depends on those two. If you have amazing luck, you can do well with little skill, and if you have terrible luck, but you've got amazing skill, well, you can do well the other way around. I should have just said vice versa rather than explain it, but you know. And our space bar item so far now is the Yum Heart. So essentially we're Magdalene right now, except without the HP. Um, Yum Heart allows us to heal hearts, which we don't have. So, it's basically a kick in the balls, saying, oh look, here's, here's a thing that heals you. Enjoy not having health. Also used a bomb there. Usually helps with uh, Larry. It's one of those things where, uh, because of his segments, you can usually kill him with one bomb. If you get him right. Ugh, I hate being trapped between both of them like that. Just sort of scat around. Stay at distance, because we got the we got that range upgrade from uh Roid Rage, so that's always useful. And they're not really doing too much, they're just sort of going around like eh. That's the the one good thing about this is uh we're gonna get a spirit hat after it, because of uh because of it being blue. The blue version gives you uh spirit hats. And we got uh, the stupid frickin' uh, Cannon Iron Tills, which is a shot speed upgrade. I don't really mind shot speed upgrades, they can make things get knocked back easier. And of course, we cannot take either of these because we didn't get a speed upgrade, not speed, a uh, health upgrade, so we don't even have the health to even attempt to take it. We could do with HP, that's the one thing we need. Um, I mean, obviously everything's good, but... HP is, like, one of the best things to survive, obviously, because, you know, more hits mean you survive more. That's basically it. And, are you kidding me? Two freaking Joker cards? Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the room to the right there, the, uh, room that you have to damage yourself to get into. We've got some flies, Joker out, go to the Deal of the Devil room. No big deal. We can't take two cards with us, so... I'm surprised that isn't an item. Who knows? Rebirth. Like, uh, by the way, an item that would essentially let you carry two cards at once, or two, uh, just two, like, like a pill and a card, but, you know, like trinkets, I guess. Sort of the, uh, mom's pass thing that allows you to carry two. Talking of Rebirth, that should be coming out, actually, fairly soon. Apparently it's, um, about 90% done. Uh, the developer of this, and Meat Boy and everything who's developing Rebirth, Edmund McMillan, has a blog. And he answers questions about rebath and such on there. And um, it's been said that uh, uh, the rebath game, the basically successes of this game, is at about 90% done. And so we should be seeing a release sometime soon. At least uh, a trailer too, saying it's released. But you know, and then that'll be a series on the channel. That'll be pretty good. I look forward to playing it, because like I said uh, last week, it's got like double the items and everything and one arm, blah blah blah. More rooms, more bosses, more everything essentially. And it's not in Flash, so it won't lag ever, which is also really good. I mean, this doesn't really lag too much, but it has its random patches where it will just go, Oh no, I'm not doing it now, eh. <laughs> just gotta kill uh, MV Rat, by the way, while we uh, went off on that, uh, whatchamacallit? Watch a video, you give you. I can't, I, my brain. It's fried. It melts in the summer sun. It's, it's horrible. I've been feeling quite off as well. Not like ill off, but like just sort of off, off. Like weird. It's not my usual self. I don't know why. It's very strange. I blame the sun again. <laughs> the sun is evil. And there are lots and lots of envies everywhere. So we gotta watch out for these stupid. Eh. Eh. We don't really need to, like, you know, avidly watch out for them to, like, get a deal with the devil or anything, but. It's just for the sake of, uh. Not taking damage, because our life is very low. And. Don't wanna be losing too much. 
when it could be avoided. Take out the small ones first, so that um, we can break out some bigger ones, and then take them out, and then, you know. The less there are, the easier this becomes, and sort of shoot them down. I hate when they bounce off each other, too. Weird angles. It's like, oh, this hits that. Oh, well, now it pings off in, like, the direction that you would never expect. Or they, like, get stuck in each other and sort of glitch around each other and go all weird. <laughs> Very strange. Also, this is taking its sweet-ass time. It's probably because uh, it's blue, so that means it gets more HP. Most champions have extra HP. Just because... Why not? <laughs> this would have been probably dead ages ago if it was the regular version. And even still, it breaks off into more, uh... Little heads, anyways. And we get, uh... Attack Fly, which... Not bad. Not bad. Not a bad item. Not amazing, but not bad. I wouldn't mind... Having that over, like, just some consumables or whatever, so... Not a bad floor again, but the secret room is next to the item room, I'd guess. We have one bomb. I think I'm going to risk it, because the money could let us go in the shop. And the shop does not contain greed, and oh my god, money. <laughs> wow. I wasn't expecting that much. I was only expecting, like, three. I don't even need any more than three, and it's the fire! The fire also gives us two. That's amazing. So we can definitely go to the shop. Hopefully get something good. Steam sale! It's early really early, in fact. All we need is the keys, and then we can justify. We could just basically get every item in every shop so far. Um, once we get to, like, 28 cents, and we're already halfway there, so for the next two floors, we're basically secure to go in the shops and get items for free. Oh, I didn't take the devil card. Shit. Ah, oh well. It's no big deal. It doesn't really matter too much. I mean, uh... If it really mattered, you know. Ah, well, no big deal. Oh, dear. Yeah, couldn't avoid that. If I shot the green one, okay. If I shot the green one, it didn't matter. I hit it when I do no damage. There we go. This isn't like the last run where it was like, Ipecac, kill everything. Because Ipecac essentially is like shooting a bomb, so... Just got a sort of... Chemical peels damage up, yeah. I think it's only out of one eye. I was trying to, uh, like, sometimes I get confused. I'm like, is that Ipecac? <laughs> so I'm just talking about Ipecac. Is that Ipecac? <laughs> but it's a damage up out of one eye, I'm pretty sure. And a damage up is a damage up, and we can't exactly re-roll it or anything, so I gotta take it anyways. Not gonna be upset about it, though, because it's, it's an alright item. Could be, uh, like a spacebar item. I mean, I wouldn't object unless it was, like, kamikaze or something. Because then I can't even use that, because I'd probably kill myself within a very short amount of time, because it's not a very good item. <laughs> it can be used situationally, though, like to find a secret room, which could be useful, but, you know. And Blue Candle is in the house! Do we take it? Of course we freaking take it. I was just complaining about damage, now it's good. Also take that Spirit Heart, because we are low on HP. We're essentially Blue Baby right now, we haven't got any HP upgrades or anything. We're just rolling on Spirit Hearts for the most part, and that one health, that one little heart that is kind of keeping us alive. This shouldn't be too hard, um, considering Blue Candle goes over the top of these halls. There we go. Blue Candle's actually um, an item I really like, because it removes shots, it recharges, so it's like, really good for that. Um, take up his tail, obviously. Why, why not? And 1-Up. This is the flaw. This is the flaw of awesomeness. Like, seriously. You cannot beat this flaw. Is there any rooms to the left of this? That's random. Usually they're linked to like three rooms, but instead this one's only linked to like two. Hmm. Especially in the cave, that's even weirder. Ah oh, well. Bomb my way out of the bottom rather than going back and taking uh, health damage, because of course we need as much HP as possible right now. So we're not exactly doing good in that area. There we go. Hopefully our boss fight could give us a deal with the angel, because we didn't take anything from that uh, deal with the devil that we were in, so... You know, and if we get some HP up, I would think of taking Yum Hat, but Blue Candle is just, I don't know. It's our damage, like, it's its gonna be our main way of doing damage for the most part, I think. Like, all the way through the run. <laughs> Try and land on Shub. Ban his butt. <laughs> Do you like your butt burned? Yeah. Blue Candle was gone then, it still hit that, like, little, uh, orange one. 
Just kill this before it starts shooting. Watch that down there. Chubbin, uh, too hard of a boss. He just sort of charges at us. If we can keep him static though, um, we can wreck up loads of damage like that. <laughs> just like that. And uh, meat is awesome. Meat is absolutely awesome. I um, think we're done with this floor by the look of things, so we'll continue down into the next floor. So, blue candle and everything else, it's all working out. Hopefully this floor is just as good. If this floor is just as good, we can pretty much... Ooh, golden poop! Golden poop's usually good. Um, wouldn't want the counterfeit penny, actually. I'd much rather take the uh, money and just go into shops throughout the run, because they're all half price, so we don't really need too much money. I, I almost got hit that. I don't even know how. I don't even know how I ain't get You know what? I'm going to take counterfeit penny for now. Or... or uh, ha, ha, ha. I've, got, I've got a better plan. I've got a better plan. It's not to take counterfeit penny now. I mean, I guess that worked out, but... What we do, um, we take the ace of spades around with us so that we generate some more cards. And then for the floor, we don't pick up any money. We don't pick it up, we don't touch it, we don't talk about it, okay? <laughs> we, don't, we don't say nothing about the money. Oh dear. That was kind of bad. I could have tried and maybe wiggled my way out of that, but I was expecting Blue Candle to do just a little bit over what it did to the other enemy and then it kill it, but apparently not. Ooh! Oh! I just pooped a little or something. I got scared then. Um, luckily, I think Blue Candle just like came through because like we were trapped in that like a bit there, and I don't think that uh, that would have missed otherwise. <laughs> Unless we had to have Blue Candle. That would have probably just blown up, like, immediately and killed us. Well, not killed us, but, you know, done damage. What is with these green guys? Jesus, they're in every room. Nope. Stupid red fire. I think I've died to red fire before. It's depressing. It's like, what's the worst thing to die from? Probably red fire, because it's not even an enemy. It's like, you don't have to kill it. Maybe those, like, white flies, except... Even still, those are annoying. Um, I need to, uh, sure, I'll take it. It's whatever. You can get us some items, though. So, it could be, uh, could be worse. It's a passive, not an active item. Just stand still. They can't shoot us. <laughs> they can't hit me if I don't move. Ah, uh, these stupid greed head things. If we, if we had the life to do it, I would recommend, like, just sitting here taking hits. And then, uh... You know, picking up the money with counterfeit penny and just seeing if we could get more out of it, but it's not worth it. We don't have the HP to do it. Um, thinking of going in here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, we'll go in. We could get the soul hat back. Nope, we get bombs. No, thank you. And we just lost a soul hat for nothing, so not exactly the best. But we've already taken damage on this um, floor, so it's not too much of a big deal. It's not gonna like jip us out of a chance of the deal with the devil, considering. All things. Ah, uh, dodge these spiders. That guy over there just keeps shooting. That he ain't even getting close. There we go. Nothing. This air suspense doesn't actually give us give like any items at all. <laughs> it doesn't give us like any cards apart from like maybe one. I think that one uh, Joker card that we left behind. Oh, and maybe the Hangman. Maybe it affected the Hangman. I don't know. Might not, I can't remember where we got the hangman Oops. early on. We could do it with a key right now. Uh. Yeah. I hate that room. Because you're just basically gonna get hit for the most part. Unless you have like insane attack speed or damage or something, you just get hit because of the amount of enemies that just come rushing at you. And do we take off the I guess we take on the boss right now. Oh good. It's nothing too bad. Damage should be avoidable, and Blue Candle can do crazy damage here. Oh! Terrible Blue Candle, though. There we go, see, look at that. Just chops right through them. It's like an axe. Do I get a deal with the devil? No, no real surprise right there. Ah! I have a plan. I have a plan that, um, boss arena down there could contain something really good. And I believe there's spikes somewhere on this floor. Somewhere, anywhere. Um. Uh, do, 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 up here? Is it up here? Yeah. Do that. Go in the boss trap room, or boss arena room, or whatever people want to call it. I don't care. Um. And a HP upgrade. Great. Just drop that there. Do that. And voila!
This shouldn't be too hard either, considering um, the fact that these bosses are pretty easy. It's just Monster and Larry's, I think. And Larry just got wrecked. <laughs> that one Larry there just got destroyed. What's always funny about this room is that the Larry's are actually made of three. They're not made of two, but they are. Um, they end up inside of each other, and so it looks like there's three, but there's only two. Uh, could there be a secret room? So many places for a secret room. Here? I'm gonna try that. Nope. Here. There we go. Two bombs for three coins, wouldn't really consider it worth it, but if, and that's a big if, um, it can be pulled off so that we get more items out of it due to shops. I will gladly take it, and also we don't really need that money. We don't, we don't need counterfeit penny for money. I think we're going to be fine because we're on the catacombs too, which means essentially the next floor and the floor after are the only two shops, and we've already got enough money to buy both items in them. Or am I just being dumb? No, no, I'm right. The depths. So yeah, there's only two shops left, and this run isn't going particularly. Yeah, particularly well, but we do have the one-up, so when we die, we come back to life, which is pretty good. Um, a nice game-changing item. Um, something to turn the tables would be pretty nice, but if, uh, almighty, uh, I don't know, Zeus, if Zeus wants to give something good, then, you know. Also, I don't get why I'm being so terrible when I use the blue candle. I'm just like, I pick it up, I'm like, hey. Guppy's tail, please. <laughs> please, Guppy's tail. Why? Oh my god, Guppy's tail! Go away! Run away from these guys, throw that in, and there we go! These rooms aren't too troublesome with the uh, blue candle. Blue candle is like the only thing that's really helping out right now. And that key will be going to the shop. No doubt. Just gotta throw it in there. If we have a bomb, we can blow up that tinted rock down there, get some HP, and maybe thingy, may, maybe not HP, who knows. I'm talking about um, Spirit Hearts, obviously, is HP, not like the common uh, HP, the common sense by, you know, the HP that we're using right now, the red hearts, as opposed to the Spirit Hearts. Eh, there we go. Nothing, nothing good about that room. Nothing happened. We got, actually, we got a couple of cents. That could be good, I guess. Though I don't reckon we're gonna need too much money anymore. I think we're pretty good. Damn it. Can't fly. Can't do anything. So luckily, the damage isn't racking up too much. And fucking golden chest. I hit these rooms with all the halls and in these fucking neck dudes. No. The worst part is that you just get stuck and they can hit you. Especially when there's multiple of them. Do we take on the boss? Yeah, sure. Whatever. It's Gish. Gish is fine. We get a little Gish. Would I be better off with another item? Eh, I could be. But he summons enemies, which makes him better than some bosses. He's essentially like Monstro. Except with the added fact that he puts slow on the ground. Which, you know, ain't too much of a big deal. Uh, if you're flying, though, it makes him just crazy easy. He also shoots those tar bombs. But I'd say that's actually better than the monster things, because monster is quite unpredictable. All you have to do is just sort of watch out for the diagonal shots of those dudes, and then just throw in a couple of blue candles on uh, Big Gish and... Can you go away and stop jumping? Can we just shoot at each other, please? For, like, three seconds? Thank you. My blue candle did nothing, and I just got hit. I can't see shit for those shots, you know. Oh, I feel terrible. I fucking died to Gish. Stupid screen glare from the sun outside, too. Doesn't help when everything's black. I should really shut my gardens or something, but you know. This can go much better. Really? Really? Oh, uh, this is going really, really well, as you can see. Usually I find Samson to be alright though to play as, which is kind of funny, considering the amount of trouble I'm having. Maybe it's just uh, my brain's being melted by the sun, like I said earlier. Uh. See, 
that was a lot easier. We took one hit of damage. It's because there was not fucking like black everywhere on the floor, so I couldn't see everything. <laughs> That's like the one problem with that room, especially in like the summer, I guess, <laughs> or when it's sunny, anyways. I'm not going up there. That actually, no, I have to go up there. <laughs> I was gonna say when we come down, we're gonna open that chest, and it's not gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be fucking annoying. Shops here. Compass is good. Compass is good. This is good too. Uh. Oh, the item room's so far away and we don't have a key. Going here though, obviously. All stats up. Wonderful. If we had that Joker card, I think this floor would be a uh, deal with the angel rather than a deal with the devil. Because I think that, um. The items that you get in the. Like, room that we just went in. I don't know what to call it. The, the room of hurt, hurt yourself when you go in. Hermit, we we'll use it, whatever. Oh, Hermit's the shop, isn't it? It's the moon that's the fucking hell. <laughs> I am, I am the best Isaac player ever. <laughs> I know what all your cards do. Um. No. Oof. But uh, yeah. What was I saying again? Um, 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 Brian. Um. Oh yeah. Usually, depending on what item is in that room, can sort of dictate whether you're going to get like a sort of a devil room or a, an angel room, because if it's an angel room, you usually get rooms out of the angel pool as opposed to the devil pool. So if you get like, you know, for instance, the halo, which pretty sure doesn't show up in the devil room, that'd be kind of weird. Um, mm, box of tarot cards. Mm. Ooh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll take it. Um, but yeah, it essentially reflects off of what is probably going to be your room at the end. And I think we're done with this floor, just gonna check for- oh wait, I can see where the secret room is, I think. Yeah, that's the secret room, right there. It's, it's, uh, probably gonna be greed. Can we- why is that in such a weird spot? How do I even get into that? Is it even possible to get into that? Oh, wait a minute, I think I know what's happened here. The secret room is next to the second secret room. I think. I think. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Let me see. Yeah. Matchstick. Sure, we need bombs. We need everything again. Apart from money. We're good for money because we only need seven cents for the next shop. I like to fight greed, but I can't get to him. The only reason I'd like to fight him is to sort of maybe prevent him from being in the next shop, but I think him just existing prevents him from being in the next shop, so... Who knows. We'll find out, though. So that's that's good. We'll find out soon enough. So! Onto the Necropolis, and we have a Blood Bank, which is awesome. Not too bad. I don't mind it. We have a... Gambling room, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, arcade, so we can go in there. Dodge this. Oh, they didn't even activate and come at us. Oh, wonderful! The mask fucks! Crap, really. I took such stupid damage. Like, my, I can dodge so many other things, but I, t I just get, like, walk into the stupid shit. Like, oh, look, it's an enemy that shoots projectiles and probably jumps in you and shoots the protect eh, projectiles and hits you. Jumps right into me like a normal jumpy thing. Ugh. I hit these green ones. They're good for finding secret rooms. Oh! Wow. Money. Money's our okay. care. This would be like the one place where counts of it penny would be pretty, um, pretty good actually. Bombs are good, bombs are good. I think I might try and bomb the way into the shop. It's possible. It's gonna be brilliant. Nope, it's not possible from this side, so. <sighs> if it's possible from the other side, it'll be good. Otherwise, might have to pass it up. Ah! Can you stop jumping? That hell has actually done a lot for us, looking at uh, our tears and how much damage they do. As opposed to how much they were doing. Really? 
I was expecting that one to come straight at me. Nah, <laughs> it just goes up and down. I'm just gonna sit back here though. It's the surface place, so. Just sit here. There we go. Wait, oh, there's one more left. Must have got hit by Gish and Tan Black. And then we couldn't see it. Well, I couldn't see it because I'm, I'm dumb. Ah, fuck me. Up on that. Ugh. It's alright. Nope. Just keep jumping out of this room, jumping back in. And then the poop is gone. The flies are gone. Nothing to go down for, though. I need keys. Please, game, give me keys. Get out. Stupid greeds. Hmm. Secret room. If I were a secret room, where would I be? Nope. Stupid spike thing. Oh, you. Oh, yay! Magneto! Woo! Magneto! And here we go. The map. The map's good. We've got map and compass, but. Ah, secret room was where I was actually going to check. I was thinking it was going to be there. It was either there or next to it, like on the other side. Um, we have map and compass, but I don't know. This this runs shaky. We have like four health, and that is it. I mean, we do have the sun card, but in terms of everything else, it's not going brilliantly. I don't know what my aim was there. <laughs> I was trying to hit that, um, the white spider spewer thing, but I missed, obviously. Really? Really? Am I really taking this damage, really? I'm getting screwed by this room. Who gets screwed by this room, seriously? Good news, um, if it is at all possible to survive the next room, which it is, we can go in this boss room and get the car hanger. That's alright, I guess. And I can't remember what the other enemy this room spawns is. Uh, we'll see though. We'll see shortly. Ah, that's Peep. I'm not a big fan of Peep, but at least it's not the blood. The blood is the worst. Oh, and Gish helped us out there. Gish is awesome for that. It stops things moving. And also stops Tears from moving fast, too. Oh, he's gonna land that. There we go. And... he dead. A penny. We got a penny. And some extra shots out of that. Oh, we need... We need keys. Ah, oh, thank you. No! No, 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 not spiders. Not spiders. Not fucking spiders. Not dying to fucking spiders. There we go. That's a bit better. We've got a key now. We can go to... Hmm. <laughs> There's so many golden chests, I'd like to open one. But I know that if I open one, it's going to be... Well, it's good either way, actually. I'll put the item room. Ah, uh, Should have just opened the chest. Should have gone with my gut feeling to open it, but nope, I am dumb. Hmm, so what do we do? Oh, why did I fucking do that? That's not what we do. Why did I walk into? Oh, uh, uh, I'll just go stand here. Uh, uh. No. Why am I so freaking dumb? Come on. Uh, you suck. You sucky suck. Thank you for the penny. I guess. Fly love's not bad. I kind of wanted to keep that thing going though, but. Eh. What can you do? It's poofed. No, you take the penny! Ah, blow it up. 
All in all, that actually worked out fairly well in terms of money. Shame we can't use it anymore, but no, well. Actually, no, we can use it. We can go in the shop and buy whatever everything is in there. Whatever everything, yes. Logical English. Oh, nice. Some HP. So how do I have your chances on this? Doomed. <laughs> Doomed! I don't think it's a possible way to come out of this downward spiral of death, but I could be wrong. Fucking money, are you kidding me? I wanted a key so I could open the other one. But things are going a lot better. We have almost full HP, we still have the sun card on us. I could have used it, but I decided not to because it's a much better card to save for later on. And now we go into the mother fight. Regular, regular one. Nothing too bad about it. Blue candle is of course amazing. As always. And anyone disagrees should be should be killed by blue candles. Blue candles are the first. So we can just do that. Oh fuck me. That hurts. I got hit in the first. And I had a Really? Uh, there we go. Thank you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! The best outcome. A um, angel room spawned after that fight. That sound at the end. That was an angel room. And I was feeling a bit pissy because I wasn't going to be able to get in it. But I think because that telepill is showing... Oh, it's not there. What? <laughs> what? Okay then, whatever game. Maybe it didn't, maybe it showed up, but didn't show up because I got hit at the very end of the fight because mum's bullshit. And does that, um, I guess we go on to the next floor with this. It's nothing amazing, nothing terrible. No, I'm just going to go straight for the boss. The longer we're here, the more health we're going to lose, the sooner we're going to need to use that card. I don't feel too confident in our damage or anything, so I wouldn't want to play my chances. Unless we get, of course, uh, a random showing up of, um, whatchamacallit, oh, um, Brain? Uh, what is it? The wafer. Unless a random showing up of the wafer happens, and then, in which case, sure, I'll do it. Or if that card is another sun card, and then we can use that to explore. It's not, it's the devil. The devil is good, but not as good. I could, I could... Alright, mental note, come back, pick up the sun. Um, for now, go around the room, um, to the boss, use the devil on the boss, take some with us, there you go. That's what we're gonna do. Depending on what rooms, um, not, not rooms, well, yeah. Depending on what rooms we get here and what items we get in the chest, this could work. I mean, we're not very terrible, like, we're not, like, completely weak, we haven't got, like, terrible items all the way through, we just haven't got much HP or much of, well, anything, like, in higher amounts anyways. But, you know, it could be, we could be that, there, it could be that, there, 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 it could be that we could manage to, uh, somehow pull it off. Oh, I heard that. I hit when they both start shooting, it scares me. <gasps> HP up and uh, deal with the angel. It's little guardian angel, uh, dude, so that's, that's good. And we only lost one spirit hat so far on this floor, so that's pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> At least for uh, how far this run has been going. And I'm gonna go check out the other rooms up here to get to possibly that um, arena room up there. But mainly to get to the secret room. The secret room could be amazing. It could be raw liver, it could be just the slot machine. A slot machine would be good, I wouldn't be upset at it. It's greed. Uh, how do I feel about greed? It's, it's okay. It could be, it could be worse. It could be better, it could be worse. It could, be, it could be super greed. Super greed's a bit worse. And we get loads of money. So if an arcade thing shows up now, on the next floor anyways, we could be in a really good position to get something going. Um, try, to throw, try to throw it diagonally. Yeah, di diagonally? Diagonally. And uh, it didn't quite work out. 
fly love mix, those flies go a lot slower, which makes them a little, a little, a little, a little, a little easier to handle, so. They're not too big of a deal, at least. They're not buzzing around going crazy everywhere. And we got a pill. I'm not sure how to feel about the pill, because I can't remember what colour that one is and what its effect is. It could be good. I mean, you never know. I was thinking this was two waves, because I was thinking, oh, it's a boss room, but it's not. It's it's the arena, the regular one, not the boss one. So, you get three waves of bosses. Have fun! This pill better be good. Oh, we got a dime too, that's always useful. You fucking kidding me? Tears down. Shameful display. Um, so now we just make our way to the end of the floor, I think. Best not to count our chickens before the hatch. As uh, the uh, what you call it goes, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a, a swig of my water. Yeah, you were probably thinking some whiskey from like a fistful of frags or something. Nope. Not to say that I'm not a fan of whiskey. I like whiskey. I'm of age to to drink legally, so I think. <laughs> can't really remember, it's not uh, something I do, I don't go out socially drinking like a lot of people, so... You know, I wouldn't really know the age, I don't really need to. It's not really, uh... Something that comes up in, you know, usual conversation or anything. He's gonna land right back where he jumped up. He's gonna land right back where he jumped up again. Not sure of that. And he's gonna land somewhere over that. Ah, oh, fuck me, I knocked into that stupid eye. The good thing is, deal with the double means shit on this floor because of uh, because of the blah, 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 the way it reacts to the floor thing, the mechanics of the game. Where it's like, no, this is the final floor. You go down now instead of uh, going to getting an actual item. And this can only be good, by the way. Anything that we get paid out with bombs, keys, anything, anything is good. I don't really mind what it is. If we could get the Ankh, or like, Raw Liver in that secret room up there, we could be good. Um, or if we just do amazingly on Isaac and dodge all of his shots, that'd be good too. Also, any hats we get can be uh, turned into money. Because of, uh, you know, the, uh, like, oh, thank you. For those who don't know, Bad Trip becomes a, uh... <laughs> uh... Doesn't even matter. Bad Trip becomes a full health pill when you get onto half a heart at the uh, minimum health at the bottom right there. So, it's very good, of course. When you've got a blood bank situation. But, uh, it doesn't matter. And holy keys, Batman. Now you want to pay out. Wow. This room, this one arcade is literally amazing. Like, I am in love with this arcade. I'm gonna throw all my money in here just... Just because it's not needed anymore. It's not like we're gonna be here forever, it's not like we've got a lot of money, so... But it's mainly for keys, just so I can open a bunch of those golden chests. And if that causes the win, I am gonna be... Amazed, to be honest. Two more keys, definitely nothing to scoff at. If we got a golden one, I would explore this entire floor. Okay, maybe not. If, um... It starts going poorly, but otherwise, I, I can see a reason to, <laughs> to uh, go with it. Oh, come on. Just give me more keys. Just give me more. More! Please, sir, may I have some more? Ah.
You know, this this early a bit of this run started out pretty pretty terribly. And I was taking so much dumb damage, I used the one up on Gish. And yet at the end it's starting to come together and it's starting to actually be you know, like I've started dodging better. I think what it is, is because I, I'm not as an avid player of Isaac as some people. Like, you, you may be thinking that I recorded, like, this episode, um, like, right after the other one or something, or, like, a couple of days after. I, um, I recorded that episode, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> and I'm recording this episode on Friday the... 17th, 18th? Something like that? I can't be asked to check the date. I don't have anything that says the date right up in front of me. Uh, my taskbar could say- Oh no! Ooh. It wouldn't really matter if it blew up, actually, because we're only, like, two cents out, but, you know. Those two cents could mean prizes or something. And it meant nothing. It meant flies. And I can swing this. I can do that. I'll do it again. Go for it. Tarot card. Tarot card is the hermit. The hermit takes us to the shop. There is no shop, so no thank you. Gonna go check the secret room. The secret room could be very nice. Could be also shite. But money is money, and we have an arcade to still, so we could... What I'm, what I'm gonna do, um, is I'm gonna go all the way into, around the entire floor. Um, because we've got a lot of keys, and so the more chests we get, the more chances we have to get something good. Um, like last time we got the wave, I think it was from a reroll, but you know. Irregardless, it's still... Penny? With the pe oh, there we go. <laughs> the penny just flew off out the map, just like, nope. Uh, yes. Can a bomb? I'll take it. And this is a very good thing to start off with. Um, because of our rage. And even if we take damage, it's not too much of a big deal because we have health sitting in the, uh... Sitting in the room of, uh, the arcade. This is a, like, like, when we get rage, we just blast through everything, but when we don't have rage, we're so freaking weak and puny. It's like, like, the damage from the shots, because we've got pretty high shot speed, actually, um, due to the cart hanger and other such items, um, that we just, we just, like, wreck them. <laughs> Which is pretty awesome, but considering the last two bosses don't really spawn too much, shall we do this? Spiders. Poop. Poopy poopy spiders. Um, make a path to the boss room, I guess. I hear this room with so many shots coming in. There we go, get one enemy killed. Ah, that good shot, that meat there. It like angled it too, it, like carved around the thing. It's like near from the Matrix, it carved, it carved the shot. I think that's what that's from. I I, you know, honestly, I haven't actually seen the Matrix. It's true. I have never seen The Matrix. There's a lot of films I haven't seen though, so, you know. It's whatever. I have, but I, I, I think maybe I was too young to see The Matrix, I guess. I should probably just watch a lot of movies. <laughs> Tears up, thank you! I will take that, and yes. There we go. Blue Candle doing work. Ah, fuck. Blue Candle hurting us. Glad I'm not in that corner anymore. That wouldn't have gone well. But yeah, I haven't seen like a lot of movies that are like considered, you know, movies that you should watch, I guess. Like other like classics, I guess, and whatnot. I don't know. It's just weird. I've seen a lot of like, you know, animation style movies, you know, like Pixar and whatnot. Because of course I was a kid in the time of when Pixar was hitting gold with like Toy Story and all that kind of stuff, so. But otherwise, I kind of never ended up actually watching a lot of, you know, the older good movies. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever seen Pulp Fiction either or anything like that. Or, uh, 21 Jump Street, which I, I think some people consider to be, you know, a movie to watch. Uh, people like it, I guess, whatever. Um, just anything, really. I haven't seen a lot of movies. I've seen most, uh, superhero movies. Most. I'm not really a big fan of DC though, so not many of the Superman ones, they're kind of a bit meh. I don't really care for them. And we are going to check out this entire floor despite our health predicament because, well, the more we explore, 
the more chance we have to get more keys, or chests, or items, or... Uh... Um... Pat, to fill up our health. There is some in the uh, room down there. We could also get pennies to play on that guy, and we could get more consumables, which are always welcome. These stupid diglet dudes are trying to get to me. But they go under just as they get to me, because their AI is amazing, and... Decides, hmm, I should go underground now, because I'm right next to the guy I'm trying to touch. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. We have fly love, so this guy becomes pointless. Like, he cannot do jack shit to us. His flies will just do that, and they don't care about hurting us. We can hurt them, though. <laughs> we have to hurt them to get out. And our final room is this guy. This one guy. There we go. So, we're gonna go back to the arcade. I know this may seem a bit tedious, but it needs to be done. Uh, check the... This is for second secret rooms too, because while we're here, why not? Anything that can give us HP, maybe even a fortune teller would be kind of good. Um, to get some trinkets. Trinkets. What am I talking about? Uh, spirit hats. Spirit hats would be welcome. Don't want to use too many bombs. Aha! Spiders! We looked. We used three bombs to find spiders. Don't I just feel brilliant? <laughs> Thank you, game. All right, so let's see. What was down here? It's the hammer. Yep, it's the hammer. And this is a hat. And a hat. And a hat. I know what we could do. If we get half a hat, and we don't have enough to replenish all of our HP, we could use that, uh... Oh, I should... Uh... I could have played this out way better. And way smarter. Doesn't matter, though. It's no big deal. What the plan was, is that I didn't pick up any of the HP, and then I could have had it here, just in case I get hurt on the Moon's Heart fight, and then I could have come back and, uh, picked up the extra HP. But I could have used that pill up there, and the... Room over there to the right, um, the whatever the room, the damage room, you know, um, and essentially have gone to full health from it. But things are looking fine. We'll play our last three coins into this guy. It's not gonna matter. It's not like we're gonna need them. We could find judgment, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? Screw judgment. It's a little dick. This guy's better than Judgment. He has a game. You know, he has a he has a good job. Judgment's just a poor beggar. Like, come on, get a job, dude. Find the skulls of those bouncy uppy things and Ooh! Thank you. Now you have to die, I'm sorry, but that's the way it goes. And you give me tears down. Like if you cry every time. Oh no wait, you have to cry slower every time new kiss the dick stroke gears. Yeah. No, thank you. This has been quite the long flaw. Um but it's worth it. It's worth it. So long as we win, then it's worth it. <laughs> like, if we win by a tiny bit, putting it down to that gamble. Shoot these, uh, these enemies here, and there we go. Now, we could use bombs to help clear out the hordes, but I think blue candle is much better to use, and use bombs later in case we find any tinted rocks or anything like that. If we find an enemy that we can just cat, um, cat, that we can just cart around and sort of dodge a lot, we can just sit here doing this, and essentially just damage mom the cheap way. However, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to lead this guy over here, and then do that. Get mom and him at the same time, and now my ears. <laughs> I hate it when it's like, I hate you, suck! When it goes like 800 times in the same second, it's like, ah, uh, my ears. I mean, thus. And that went perfectly well. We got to deal with the devil, but it's completely and utterly useless because it just takes us down to the next floor, which would be the shield. And we don't want to go there. Now, looking at this floor, the boss is right near the secret room. Just go to it. Bad damage there. Lost our spirit hat, but it's not too big of a deal. It's the same one. Fuck you. 
That same one, it wasn't the one that I was chasing, it was the one that wasn't being chased. Maybe that was because my focus wasn't on it, but still. Oh dear. Oof. Dodging that damage. What? None of them chased me. There we go. I'm, I'm very nervous. <laughs> if I take too much damage, that could affect this run very poorly. Um, but... If I don't take dumb damage, and I manage to hold out, this run could go brilliantly. Uh, what should we call him? Uh, what, what do you call him, good sir? I can't remember. Um... Ah... Uh, famine... Wrath... Not wrath... Wall... Something to do with the plague. <laughs> there you go. I can't remember its name. Forgetful, brain is forgetful. Now if we just dodge his shots, we have blue candle, makes it a bit easier. We don't dodge by walking into them. That's also a plan. In the, uh... In the whole plan of winning, in the art of war. Ooh. So far so good, not doing too bad, not doing do too shabby. Oh, if I'd have launched that as soon as I wanted to launch that, I'd be much happier. And this is the part where I kind of get a bit happier and a bit more upset. <laughs> because the angel feeds us a shoot more, which makes it a bit harder, but if they die, we get more damage, making it easier. It's like a double-edged sword of tears. That went fairly well. Sorry for not talking, I was very on edge. <laughs> uh, now all we need is some good items. Nope. Uh, uh, please be good. Are you kidding me? We have shoot to a friend. <laughs> really? Uh, uh. Fucking sucks. I want to go to this secret room though. It could pull something out the bag. So it may be dumb, but you do have the sun card. It could make it worthwhile. You never know. Everything is worth a shot. Shit. I didn't expect it to be coming from there, so. Oh, I'm an idiot! Fuck me! Use that! There we go. Oh, I feel so fucking dumb. Like, I got hit by that thing twice. It's not even hard to dodge. It's so basic to dodge, it just goes along the screen in the same three rows. But yet, I still get hit by it. Like an idiot. Gaddy should be too hard. Especially if he keeps getting slowed by little Gish. Yeah, we get a bomb. We have Guppy's Tail, yet we aren't getting any freaking chests. Chests are really good on this floor, too. Get a chest, you essentially get an item. Get the right item, you win. <laughs> Ugh, fuck off, game! Why do you play with my emotions? I go through the trouble of fighting that fucking greed and get nothing for it. I don't care about them, I, all I wanted was a normal chest, but instead you give me that. Now who do we want to kill last? Lust would be ideal. But if that can't happen, it's understandable. And it can't happen because Blue Candle didn't stop where I expected it to stop, because my aim is off, I think, of Blue Candle this entire game. <laughs> Blue Candle has been doing work for us. An airball is an item. It's an item. It's not a good item, but it's an item. And this room again. I s really. That shot was pretty good all the way across the map. But it also sucks because 
of course, it wasn't me shooting it. If it was me shooting it, I'd be much happier. For obvious reasons. I wouldn't have been hit by it. <laughs> ah! Nasty, nasty damage. This should be dead soon enough. Now? Now? That's class. Any time now. Whenever you feel ready. There you go. Doctor's from <laughs> What is with the bad items? I'm sticking over here. I'm not going near the middle of this. You know, we could still swing it. We could still swing it. You never know. With this one, we want to kill Sloth less. Sloth could drop another Sun card. It could redeem our chances. And that is always a good thing. <laughs> did did uh, Sloth just kill the other one? Um, did Sloth just seriously, like, kill little uh, Bobble Man down there? I can't remember his name. Um, Wrath. Be good, be good, be good, be good, be good. High Priestess. Ugh, that fucking horse! I hate it because I'm looking out at the bottom. Spider, you fucking suck. But I'm looking out at the bottom because of this guy, and I don't want to get shot by him. But then, like, you know, the horse just comes in and just fucking wrecks me. You know what would be good? PhD. PhD shows up in a chest somewhere. That gives us HP. What is with this room? I'm d I don't want this room. Go away! No. Uh. So close. So close. That could have gone better. We didn't get amazingly, like, out. Like, we didn't die really early on. If I could have kept that, um, that one up for later on, we would have been fine there. We would have won. But, uh, ah, oh, well, no big deal. Um, I think I'll probably do the shield runs afterwards anyways. Um. After the playing of this, if Rebath comes out, I might not do them. That's fair enough, because I will be doing, um, of course, Rebath. I'll be playing through that a lot more than this, because, of course, I have to do all the objectively um, things, so I beat Mom a billion times or whatever. So, you know, I, I'd say that's fair. If uh, Rebath comes out as soon as I expect it to, which is probably in the next couple of months, and these videos will go up in the next couple of months, so if there's enough time. I'll do the uh, shield thing, but otherwise, I think I'll probably not do it. I mean, you know, I didn't promise anything. I did say that I probably would, but, you know, I would rather jump into Rebath sooner than later. Because I'm going to have it day one. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm not leaving that. Like, I have to have it. it it's been, like, hype so far for me. It's like, ah, uh, like, you know. But anyways, I've been rumbling and rambling and going off too long. Um, and so, I hope you enjoyed this episode of, um, the Isaac Runs, and, uh, goodbye.